All right, I'm about to prove to you that two is equal to one. I'll show you how. So we can all agree that one is equal to one, right? Nothing wrong with that. So I'm just gonna say a is equal to a because one is equal to one and a is equal to one. Then I'm gonna assign b equal to one as well. And you can agree that a times a is the same as a times b. One times one is equal to one times one, right? So a times a gives us a squared. And then a times b is gonna give us a b. We're just multiplying them. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract b squared on both sides. Now, if I subtract b squared on both sides, I'm gonna end up with a squared minus b squared on the left side is equal to a b minus b squared on the right side. Next, I'm gonna factor out. So a squared minus b squared is known as the difference of squares. So this is gonna give us a plus b times a minus b, right? It's the difference of squares, so it's gonna factor out into that. Next, for the right-hand side, I'm gonna factor out a b. So if I factor out a b, I'm gonna have what? So a times b, so all I'm missing is an a, and then b times what is b squared? It's gonna be b, b times b. So it's, I'm gonna have a minus b in the parentheses over here. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide both sides by a minus b. So when I do this, as you can see right here, this a minus b cancels out with this a minus b, and this a minus b cancels out with this a minus b. So when they cancel out, we're left on the left-hand side with just a plus b, and then on the right-hand side, we're left with just b. Now, since we know that a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1, substitute, I get 1 plus 1 is equal to b, which is 1. This gives us 2 is equal to 1. So how does this happen? So this happens because of a special property called dividing by 0. As you guys know, in mathematics, if you divide by 0, any number, so for example, I have 2 divided by 0. What is this equal to? Most people would say it's equal to 0, right? That's wrong. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 2 divided by 0 is undefined. And undefined means that you can't divide any number by 0. So where did I divide by 0? Right here, this a minus b. Because what's 1 minus 1? That's equal to 0. And remember, when you divide any number by 0, that is a big no-no in math. So that means that this right here is an illegal step, which means that can't happen. And also, 2 is equal to 1. I don't think so.